Hello and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and in this video we will learn how to create a meeting in Outlook 2016. It's very very simple. In the home tab you can create a meeting by going to the home tab clicking on new items and choosing a meeting from here or else you can go to the calendar view and from here choose new meeting. So let's use the standard option that we were trying to do. Go to the home tab, go to new items, click on meeting. And as soon as you open this meeting section, you would be now able to set up meeting very simply by typing in the names of the people you want to invite. So let's invite this person. And let's mention a course. So Microsoft Advanced Excel. Course, I want to have a meeting regarding this. All right. And where can we have that? Well, I can take the liberty of saying my cabin. And from here, you can either select the start date, end date, and the timing, start time, end time, or make it an all day event wherein you would be able to just choose the start and the end date, which is usually the same. If I uncheck it, then you can have a different start date and a different end date with a specific start time and a specific end time from here now we have another options which we can use that is to copy it to my calendar so that it gets added to my calendar easily and to add more people which we can use by going to the address book now this is very very important all right i would like you to concentrate over here now now what happens now, when I typed the names over here in the two section, it would mean that these people are required to come over here in this meeting, else the meeting will not be meaningful. Now, there might be certain people, if they do not come, then it is okay. So, to add such people, for example, say this person, we want to be an addition in the, e, in the meeting, but if it, this person does not come, it's okay, then we can click on this person's name and click on optional so and click ok so this way this person would now be sent a meeting request but he is not required exactly to be there if he comes fine all right then the important section is response options now you get two options request responses and allow new time proposals now which means now currently these two are checked that means you once you receive a request for a meeting you would be given an option to accept it decline it or suggest another time all right which is good to have and allow new time proposals so if you want the other people to say that this time is not good to me i would like to suggest another time then you can do that from here also i would suggest rather unchecking this just keep this one on and then you can check your calendar settings from here so that the, it would show in your calendar in one of these options. In case it's a recurring meeting like a sales review or a performance review weekly, monthly or daily, then you can set the occurrence from here. You can choose a daily, weekly, monthly or yearly occurrence. The options from here change accordingly. Please change all those options. You can set an end date from here. So there is no end date or you can end after X number of occurrences or end by a specific date. Since I do not want the occurrence, reoccurrence, I'm not checking it. You can set the importance here. All right. And that's it. You simply send it and it is gone. Now let us go to our email account. And we will find it in the our sent items. Let me show you how. See, now once you get that email, it will have this option accept tentative decline. It means accept you want to come and it will give you an option send response now or later. And tentative may come, may not come, decline, I don't want to come, propose a new time. All right. So this is how we set a meeting and 
edit and invite other people set a course agenda timings location and once you receive an invite this is how it would look like now if i want to edit it all right we can edit it also how let me show you let me go to my calendar view wherein this meeting should be showing all right this is the meeting and oh, let me show you. this is how it will show on your calendar okay if i double click it i would be able to go to the edit mode now it says no responses have been received in for this meeting of course because people have not yet seen it if they respond so you will see how many people are coming how many people are not coming you can go to tracking and see the tracking status from here right in case you want to add more people you can add more people from here and we have added more people and we can now go to our regular emails and if i want to contact attendees we can contact att attendees also from here okay so this is how our attendees would get a mail and then we have to click send update for any changes that we make if we do not make any changes if we do not click here then people would not know so we have to click on send updates even if you want to cancel a meeting by clicking here would simply not cancel it you will have to click on send cancellation and that is how you will be able to cancel the meeting and people would be aware that the meeting has been cancelled and it will be removed from their calendar this is how we go ahead set up meetings in outlook edit meeting invite more people and cancel it also hope you like this video if you liked it do like do click on like if there is a question please put it in the comments and in case you want to watch more videos you can go to my website myunison.org and watch more videos similar to this over there so until the next video this is your guru now signing off for the day have a wonderful day ahead happy learning